Do you, Isaiah, take Vicky to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. Very good. Do you, Vicky, take Isaiah to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. I like that nervous look on your face when you're starting to think that you're talking too much. I like how we just met and I'm not even slightly afraid to be opening up. I like that we've been sitting here, hands moving around the clock, and I still can't get enough. No, I can't get enough. You look in my eyes, and I already hope this lasts. Isaiah, I promise to feed you well, so I will learn how to cook. I promise to give you your relaxation time after your house chores. I vow to only see you as the only most beautiful lady in my eyes. If we argue about some things, I vow to forgive and respond in Christ's likeness. I want you to be reminded to be loving, to be kind, and be patient to one another in love. The beauty will fade one day. The handsomeness, the strength will go away, but the love will remain forever. I like that nervous look on your face when you're starting to think that you're talking too much. I like how we just met that I vow to submit unto you as the head of the family. I vow to be more patient and understanding to you even though we fail. I vow to support you in your desire to grow in your career, but most especially in the works and in the purpose that the Lord has for you. I vow that our marriage will always be about we and not about me. I vow to lead you and our future kids closer to God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I vow to be a loving teammate to you every day as we walk in this life, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. By the end of the night.
sinulat ko na lang yung sasabihin ko. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and successful marriage and family will just be an additional but God first. as a married couple if um, there are things that you are not sure you are not certain of course you can call every one of us you can call Pastor Rommel as well but most importantly God said to call unto him first and he promised he will answer you But start slow, learn from each other's mistake, and I believe as long as the Word of God will be the guidance, then you will learn to grow in love and living together. Just for us here in the gold town.